Hello there everybody, good morning and welcome to a uh, rainy Thursday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we're going to talk about how you can have anything you want. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where 5 days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now... Here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. You know, I just realized this might be a short episode because I, I have about one sip of coffee left in my cup. I have a soapbox topic for us this morning, though, so fair warning. And uh, another uh, fair warning um, pre-recording this morning because I have an early appointment and didn't want to miss it. being with you guys this morning giving you this topic. So I'm going to get right into it. You can have anything you want. You just have to make the choices to do it. And here I can prove it to you simply and easily. Right? Two, two little things. One is the placebo effect. You ever heard of the placebo effect? That's the, uh, like when they're doing drug studies, they'll give part of the patients a sugar pill and part of the patients the real pill. And some of the patients that take the, the fake pill actually get better. They derive the benefit that the patients taking the real pill get. How in the heck is that possible? Well, it's really simple. They believe with all their heart, with all their mind, they believe that what they're getting is working. And so their mind tells their body, get better. So your mind, whatever you can conceive, if, 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 I, can, if I can overcome illness with my mind, well, what else is there? I mean, what's harder than that? I mean, if, if you are a person of faith, read the Bible. We were told there, you could move a mountain. You, you could tell the mountain to move and it would have to obey you. If you just had the faith of a mustard seed. Faith, belief, believe you can get better. Believe that you can create whatever outcome that you want. Because let's turn that around on, on its head for just a minute. If you don't believe it, How's it ever going to happen? It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You doubt that you'll be able to do it, so you hedge your bets in case you don't do it. And because you hedged your bets, you don't create the same result, so it doesn't happen. That makes sense. I hope that string of events makes sense. If, if you believe that this person that, that this new boyfriend, this new girlfriend, this, this new spouse is going to cheat on you, then you withhold something from that relationship. And because you withhold something from that relationship, they're left in, um, wanting in the relationship also, and they go elsewhere to find it. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Right? Maybe that's a bad example, but you get the point, right? If you believe that you can achieve it, then you can it's like um, Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right. Because what you believe is what matters. Now, number two, here's the next excuse. You don't have to understand how it works. You just have to use it. And you do this all the time. Most of you get in the car every day. I mean, I've worked on cars. I don't understand how they work anymore. All the wires go into this box and then magical things happen. Saw a video from one of my friends on Instagram yesterday. Car driving itself. Got on the app on the phone, summoned their car from the parking lot and it drove up to the front of the building to pick them up. Well, I don't understand that, but I'd use it. You don't understand how the car works. You don't understand why the, how to fly the airplane. But you fly. You drive. 
We don't have to understand how something works in order to benefit from it. All we have to do is believe that it's going to work and then leverage that in order to get the outcome. Now, by leveraging it, here's what I mean. You have to make the choices. Choices have consequences, good and bad, right? If you make the choices necessary to create the outcome, you will create the outcome. But if you hedge your bets, mm, this might not work, so I'm going to save a little bit, save a little for a rainy day. Then you're not going all in. And if you don't go all in, you're not going to get the all in result. You're going to get some half measure, and then you're going to say, see, I knew it wasn't going to work. It was a good thing I saved some for a rainy day. Forget about rainy days, right? Go all in. Jump in the deep end of the pool. I do that. I mean, the pool's right there. Got a leak in it again. Anyway, I'll swim when it's raining, not when it's lightning. I get that. When it's raining, well, I'm wet anyway. What difference does it make? Right? Go all in. Believe that you can create the outcome, and you can. And then commit yourself to making it work. All right, that's it for today. Today's Thursday. That means tomorrow's Friday, Free Coaching Friday. Be sure to have your question, comment, or topic ready to try and stump me. No one's been able to do it so far. Maybe tomorrow's the day that you can do it. I kind of doubt it, though. But you can give it a shot. Come on by 7 o'clock for 7 minutes in the morning. I will talk to you then. Until then, you have a great day.